everyone has to go through struggle, but in order to kind of to go through the trial and tribulations, they need to have some sign of purpose. What was yours? It was more, was it more? It was it was it more to do with you don't want to come back home as a failure because you have the pressure from the parents and stuff like that, and they don't want them to say I told you so because I I've experienced it myself. Yeah. Um, or was it more? What what was the purpose? I'd like to I'd be interested to know. Well, I can tell you, at the back of my head, somewhere, of course, there was what you just said. So, of course, my parents, they everyone will call me a failure or whatever, whatever. But that, for, that was for me. For them, it doesn't really matter because for them, football is something that's just a hobby. And as long as I graduated mm-hmm. from, from engineering school, for them, it was okay. But for me, it was not okay. For me, I risked a lot. I risked my time. I risked my relationships. I risked lots of things to come to Europe. So, for me... Mm-hmm. What kept me going, I would say at that point, is that I saw that everything was being, let's say, put in place by God in a specific way, in a specific, let's say, uh, step by step, that I had to believe that this is the right thing to do. Keep going. Keep believing. And at some point, I can tell you that in a day or in a, day or in a few seconds, everything would change. And I, I would just tell you that maybe I was not as, as a, let's say, having too much faith as I'm, 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 I'm currently now at my age and everything after I've went through in my life. But at that point, I felt that, come on, I mean, why give up? You're here, you're here for a reason. Everything that happened, mm-hmm. all, the, all this story has to have an end. The end should not be that you go back to your country and that's it. I mean, oh, okay, yeah, I had a bad time in Poland because this guy left me, because mm-hmm. this guy turned up on me. Why? I didn't want this to be the ending. I, fe- I, I felt that I had unfinished business and I wanted to be here. I wanted to be here because I felt that God sent me here to be here for a reason. Whatever time mm. it will be, for a year, for two, for more, for less. But I'm here. And since I'm here, I should do the task that I was sent to do from Egypt. I'm not, I'm not here only to be playing football. Maybe I'm here for a different reason. And that showed up later on. So that's why I'm telling you. It was very mm. hard mentally. It was nerve-wracking. It was really, really tough for me to accept. And even tell my parents that this is a situation. Because how can I explain to them that, I'm here to be able to gain this amount of salary every month playing in the Premier Division or in the first division. And now I'm playing fourth division, basically for free. But the thing is that I will be staying because the team will extend my visa for a while until I play here. And then from next year or from next season, I'll be looking for a new club. For them, this is something, what are you doing? Come on, you're 24 years old. I'm not young. So I have to be responsible Mm -hmm. for myself. People at my age work, they make money, they have families, they have kids. So for them, it was a little bit different. But I didn't want them to give up on me. So I know how hard it is, especially the mentality in, 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 in Egypt and in Arab countries is a little bit different, that people want to be basically more safe and then say, come on, you have a good life. I really had a good life. I mean, thank God for everything that I had. I was never complaining. Even if it was a little bit hard at some point, we had some situation in the country. But it was never as bad as that I would say I would leave everything behind. And live in a in a shared in a shared house with I don't know three four people and a shared bathroom or whatever. I know how the let's say it's a degradation. People would say for me I don't, I don't really care about these things. These things are just you know expenses in life. I just care about how I can, can I get to my dream. And I'm where I was willing to risk everything. And until today we will get back. We will jump. Let's say ten years later, and the same person is still there, but much more determined, much more motivated, much more disciplined, much more let's say wiser smarter after everything I had to go through and then go back to Egypt and then come back again to Poland. It's not the same. So what I will always say is that that decision at that time, which I made to stay in Poland, is something that I'm thanking God today, that God led me through that path to stay in Poland and never give up on my dream, even if I didn't reach what I wanted to reach. But I reached something much more than that, which made me until today, at my age, which was almost 34 years old, play as still as a kid who was 18 years old. Nothing changed. Mm. I'm actually much more motivated, much more even eager to go train every single day. I'm, let's say, much more open, much more uh, looking at training in a different way now from a different perspective that I'm not training because someone is pushing me. I want to train. I love training. I mean, mm. I discipline myself that this is a habit that I just already created in myself, so I'm not giving up. No way. So I, I can I can always say that nothing happens for no reason. Everything happens for a reason. Everything I've seen in my life happened because God wanted it to happen that way, that specific way, not in any different way, because that, this, this, this is what built my character and this is what made me the person who's talking at this moment, even playing in this club, being in this country again after all the break I had or after all the different periods I had. 
So it, it was never easy, but it, it's not meant to be easy. Life is not meant to be easy. In, in yeah. Hopefully, when we go to, to, the, to heaven, not everything will be uh, for us over there. We will have everything available for us. Now, we're supposed to be working hard. We're supposed to be learning. We're supposed to be fighting for what we want. We're supposed to be using every single minute because time, you cannot bring it back. If time goes, yeah. this is the only thing that you're losing. So if you don't make yeah. the most of the time, if you don't learn, if you don't keep on pushing yourself every single day, I mean every single day, you have to keep putting and you have to keep tracking yourself. Where am I? Where have I been yesterday? Am I better than the person who was yesterday? Even if it, if it was by 1%, at the end of the year, it will make a huge difference. But you never give up. Mm-hmm. You, never get, you, you, you keep, I know it's hard. I know it's overwhelming. I know it's really, with the responsibilities coming in, in into my life, with, with being married, with being having to work every single day at, uh, from, from 95 or from 84, whatever, it's not easy, but if you lose the part inside of you which tells you that this is happening for a reason and I should keep going, I should keep believing, keep the faith that God never does anything bad for me, believe me, it will be everything will be much easier. I know it's hard, it's not easy, it's easy to say, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's hard to be to practice that. But as long as you know that you're doing what you want and you don't have influence and everything happening around you, you cannot change the world, okay, we know that, but at least you did 100% of what you were supposed to do. You should be happy. You should be really relieved that, God, I'm going to bed today. I'm relieved. I did everything I could do. There's nothing that I was able to do and I didn't do. So I'm happy. Are you satisfied with me? You go to sleep. You wake up the next day. Another challenge, another day, another opportunity for you to keep going forward. That, that's that's my, my discipline in my life. That's how I actually keep my mind working. That no way to stop. There's no stopping. Stopping is only the day when you actually lie down on your bed and you're, you're, you're going to be dead and they're going to bury you. No stopping until that day.